not it's yang with vascular yes thank you thanks hi guys welcome to the call room <laughs> um i am in the middle of my first week of nights um and so far it is going better than expected i actually really enjoy the time to myself and the time to kind of work through things myself um, I will say though that this week has been a little bit different well I guess I shouldn't say different I don't have anything to compare it to but this week is uh, quieter than I expected and kind of what I had heard from my co-residents who had already done this I think part of the reason is that it's Thanksgiving week this week so um, for whatever reason if people are out of town and also with cases not going later this week the service is not as busy as I had expected so part of our responsibility overnight um, being the in-house vascular resident uh, so we cover consults, um, ICU, primary patients. As twos and threes, we are also responsible for covering the OR cases. So it can get pretty busy at night. I have fortunately slash unfortunately not really been able to experience that yet. So right now I am just try checking out some people and then doing questions in preparation for our yearly in-service exam that's going to be coming up in February. I figure I would just take this time um, and review excuse me, review, review as much as I can. So I recently made a post on Instagram about how I am having a lot of difficulty kind of not in sharing my experiences, but I guess sharing my struggles and kind of difficulties in residency in a way that is truthful to myself but also respectful um, you know of my institution and ultimately of my patients and I think um, it was really helpful to read that a lot of people felt the same way um, especially surgery residents um, you know no one says that residency is supposed to be easy and a part of my whole thing is showing people what it's really like um, as much as I can and recently I've just been hitting kind of a road roadblock with it um, it's hard to really explain but I guess like it's expected that there are um, difficult days and days where I doubt myself and you know days where I'm struggling and that is all part of the process of being a physician and you know that's why we're in training my main concern is that you know when I if I were to share stuff like that obviously not patient specifics but just general things of how I'm feeling you know how does that reflect on me five years from now ten years from now you know when I'm in a new attending um, how does that feel you know for my future patients like let's say somebody five ten years down the line stumbles across one of my residency videos and you know for whatever reason that instills some sort of doubt um for them in regards to my abilities just like things that i've never really thought about things that nobody really talks about when it comes to all of this um you know i have noticed that a lot of people who i follow who are attendings or late in their training about to become attendings don't really talk about these things and you know I kind of understand why now I'm kind of feeling like I don't know there's a struggle within me because why else am I on here except to show and you know document for myself but to show like what it's really like and it's not always fun times it's not always vacation it's not always like fun interesting cases where the attending lets me get out the femoral by myself like there's plenty of hard times too and obviously it would never be a situation where i'm openly talking about what happened or it's more so the general fatigue and like low morale i think that kind of hits in the middle of the year but especially in the middle of training um it's like hard to talk about i guess but that's just been what's on my mind. I do feel a lot better with a lot of people who have messaged me on Instagram saying that they feel similarly and I guess that's just part of training in general. Um, I am very thankful that I have James to kind of bounce all of these off of and also my co-residents and friends who understand me. Um, there's always the option of me not talking about it at all, right? I could just 
kind of carry on with the positive side of things, which I have thought about as well. Um, but who knows? I think at this point, it's like 2.15 a.m. My brain's not really coherent. Um, it's kind of getting, so I'm still adjusting to my first week of night. So I had, I slept during the day earlier today and I had coffee. So I'm kind of, I'm tired because my body's used to being asleep right now and my brain. What? Oh, excuse me. As you can tell, um, but I'm also kind of wired because I had a lot of coffee. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to wrap up a little bit here and do some of these questions and kind of see how the rest of the night goes. Thanks for listening, guys.